What's up everyone and welcome back to FFX2. In the last episode, we went to Xanarkin, we talked to Mishin for not that long, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, we found out that, you know, he was unsent, you know, he was so old that he didn't even remember how old he was and that he was in fact dead. Um, I don't know how you forget that, I really don't, I mean, if... I died I would definitely remember that I died <laughs> anyways we went to Besaid after that we saw the little tiny baby Lulu and Waka's baby is finally here and it's looking mad cute <laughs> um, you know we talked to Becklam too he left the island to go uh, join the youth league again um, then we went to Kilika Island where Donna was reunited with Bartello you know, even though she's all in denial about his the love she has for him, you know, she pretty much admitted it. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, um, I'm back here in Bavel because in the last episode we also went here and we talked to Moroda, Pase, and Isaru, and we had an episode complete here. But there is something else that we have to do here, guys, for 100% completion. Um, I believe it's to the right or it could be to the left. Let me check. Yes. Lady Yuna, look, look, look! I'm looking. Ta da! We found it all by ourselves. Um, you kids should not be playing with some random glimp on the floor. Looking like a freaking. I don't know. A ritual. A satanic ritual. Don't step on that. Oh, too late. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh man, kids should not be playing with these things like this. For real. What are you guys doing? Where are we? Um I know a place just like this. It's the uh Far Plane. Oh, oh. I wanted to say it. Oh, oh god. Sorry. Kids. First in a year, you are. What the hell? Who are you? Oh, hell no. Nah. Who are you? He's this place was rotting. long sealed away until a man named Tremor came and unlocked its secrets. Tremor. Into the depths. Alone, he descended. Never did he return to the light. Nice story. <laughs> Pain. About this tremor, he... Huh? Hase? Let's, let's get out of here! Good idea, okay. let's go. Oh man, I would be out. Forget those poses. Wait, 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 did he drop something? Oh yeah, I think this is... What is this? Oh, it's a crimson sphere. Okay, great. Um, watch the sphere? Um, I can't wait. Yeah, let's watch it now just to get it over with. What did you see? As soon, as soon as we went in, they became violent. Everyone, it must have been the pyreflies. They swarmed around us too. So many pyreflies. We saw it. That, that apparition. Apparition. Start making sense. It was a machina, an enormous machina. It trembled and growled like a beast. I've never seen anything like it. When I saw the apparition, it got inside me. It made me feel fear, regret, despair. Same here. I can't explain why, but I felt so sad. Yeah. It was like somebody's raw emotions just came out of nowhere and hijacked my brain. 
Oh my god. Somebody? Somebody who? Is that all? Return to the command center at once. Protect the maester until the operation has concluded. That is your first mission as Crimson Squad members. What, we passed? Congratulations. <laughs> well, they look like the only ones that survived. We did it. Yeah, we did. Run! Run! <gasps> Quiet! What the? Whoa, 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 so they shot them? That's really weird. Um, That was really weird. I didn't remember ever seeing that sphere. Oh! Oh god, guys. So, let's explain. Within this labyrinth, 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 <laughs> Fiends will appear despite any special abilities or equipment you may be using. Oh man, so guys, this is level 1 of the Cloister Trials, um, deep within Vavel's depths, and we pretty much have to get to floor 100. Yeah, I know guys, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, as you guys can see, it's not much of a challenge at first. But it can get quite challenging later on. Um, so you guys see this glimpse. This glimpse will actually take you to the surface. So I'm going to try to, off camera, go down every all the floors. And, you know, every 20th floor, you actually have to face like a boss as far as what the guide has explained um so probably in the beginning of every episode from here on out i'm gonna probably start off with a boss fight down these bevel bevel uh depths just because i'm most likely not gonna record me going down a hundred floors of bevel like nah <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna do all that I'm just gonna start off every episode from now on doing a boss fight. There's probably gonna be like four boss fights. Maybe f uh, five boss fights. There's gonna be five boss fights from here on out. At the beginning of every episode, I'm gonna try to get them out of the way. Um, Cause you need to do it for 100% completion, guys. You need to do it. Um, so now we're gonna go to... Um, I'm gonna actually head to Beacon Isle Desert because as you guys remember in the previous episodes we had came here and they talked about um, collecting the gatekeepers, the 10 gatekeepers, so we can do that at the same time that we visit all the other hotspots. A legendary fiend that sleeps beneath the sand has awoken. Both the camp and the Kroktar nation are in danger. Scramble go wings, let's go. Oh man, so this legendary fiend, man. I'm kind of nervous because I remember um, way back when I played it for the first time. I couldn't beat this fiend that they're talking about. It was so oh, hard. Am I glad you're here. Matza Kiak. We've got a prickly situation. Fiends are attacking the Cactuar Nation. We'll take care of it. Benzo, let's go. <laughs> I was he wrong. looks just like she Shinra. Get dragged into trouble. She jumps in head first. <laughs> true, true. Riku and Pain have a point there. It's actually very true. What the heck? What? Oh, what the heck? What's happening? Oh my God! How many of them are there? Oh my god, reptilians coming out of the underground. Uh. And what the... This is the fiend. This is the legendary fiend, guys. These are it no was so hard. Fiends. 
Let's ask Marla. She knows more than I do. Sure, okay. Marnala, do you know what's going on? An ancient and terrifying fiend that long slept beneath the earth has awoken. That fiend is now headed here. We must lose no time to raising the great Haboob, which is the ten gatekeepers. Only the ten gatekeepers are capable of raising this magical barrier. You must gather them here before the last of my power wanes. That's the gist of it. Oh man. Okay, so. Yuna. Oh. Get back. <gasps> oh man, these cactars can defend themselves for sure. Impossible. Wow. Did she get him? She says she's struggling just to buy us time. Oh, okay. Oh man, so please find the gatekeepers before Marnala's strength gives out. <sighs> All right, well, this is nothing new. We have to collect the ten gatekeepers. All right, well, we can do that as we visit the hot spots. Um. At the end of every hot spot that we do, uh, we're gonna try to get the cactars in that area. Alright, so we're pretty much done here for now until we get those 10 gatekeepers. So let's go back to the camp and let's board the airship. Um, I'm thinking about what to do next. Um, I'm trying to do everything as, you know, as convenient as possible, you know. I'm just praying that I don't miss anything. I mean, I can always reload, but this is a guide and I don't want to confuse people. You know? Alright, so we got... Alright, we got Bavel out the way for now. Um, Beacon out. Yup, okay. That's what I wanted to do uh, at the beginning of this episode. Now we're going to head to Luca. Let's go. Blitzball season's here at last. So, are we playing? Yes! I love Blitzball. The day that Blitz freaks across Spirit have been waiting for is finally here! That's right, folks. Blitzball season has begun. Wow, is it that time of year already? I wonder if Waka and the gang are here. The Aurochs aren't coming. I hear they've got their hands full with babysitting. <laughs> Aww, they should have just brought Vadina along. <clears throat> and guess what? They want the Gold Wings to compete in their place. Are you serious? All right! I've always wanted to play Blitzball. Why do we have to play? <laughs> Don't sweat these small stuff. Leave everything to me. Me! So, are we in or what? Oh, man. I remember Brother was actually... The best Blitzball player in FFX. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do it. I have been practicing my diving a lot. <laughs> you know, you might be surprised. <laughs> Alright, so the thing with Blitzball, <laughs> um, it's not the same. It's not the same in FFX 2, guys, as if it was in FFX. It was just not the same. Um, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm probably gonna do that later on. It has nothing to do with 100% completion, so you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> I'll probably play some of it off camera. I think there is a trophy that you can gain from it, but uh, I'm not really interested in getting all the trophies. I just want that 100%. That's all I want. That's all I want. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head up where um titus and yuna were laughing like mad awkward in ffx in that section there's gonna be a cutscene so let's go there this is where you need to go to get 100 percent completion i'm at uh episode complete in this luca area so let's go Aww. I practice. 
dist. Oh. No! Don't give me a flashback. I'm about to cry. Wherever no. I go, Spira is full of places tied to my memories. Oh. That memories was Yuna before. Journey. Memories of you. What the? Huh? What's wrong? But it's. You can't see it? See what? You need a break? A Moogle? What the hell? It's Lulu's Moogle. There's a furtive, floating, fluffy, flying Moogle. What more do you need to know? We'll chase after it. <laughs> true, true. All right, let's go. Let's go chase this Moogle. This flying, fluffy Moogle. You got to. You just got to chase it. You know. Whenever you see a ghost of a Moogle, flying. Oh, there you are. Wait. What the heck is going on here? The animals are worshipping you or something? <laughs> Sorry, anyways, uh, let's continue. Oh, Moogle! You're so cute! No. Oh man, these flashbacks are about to make me mad emotional right now. Basically, you know. Yeah, basically. No yeah, we're just gonna have some flashbacks with Titus. It's like showing the past, you know what I'm saying? Before Yuna got so caught up in problems. Oh, when, when he was teaching her how to whistle. Those were some of the best memories together with her. When she was pretty much still happy. Before, you know, all of the problems came catch, caught up to her. Later down the road of FFX. <coughs> oh, man. Oh, where are you going? Where? Hey, stop right there. <laughs> Oh man, it's so cute the way he's flying and like wiggling his feet. <laughs> look, look. But for real, for real, like in FFX, that was pretty much the only Moogle was Lulu's Moogle. <laughs> oh, it's right over there. Okay. Hey. And they gotta play the sad music. <laughs> oh man. Remember when Titus These are our memories. Yours and mine. But I don't think I'm ready to let them be memories yet. Oh. Maybe I'm confused, but It's okay. What's it was with like you? a dream, I think. My heart won't stop pounding. That's not a dream. Not if your heart's pounding like that. Oh. You and someone you care about are connected somehow. That's what it is. How worldly. I felt that way too. About who? I don't know. Spill it. Maybe we can trade secrets. Oh. Hmm. You drive a hard bargain. I guess everyone's like this. We cling to our secrets, our doubts, our memories. We're never able to put them aside. 
Even though they confuse us, there are some things we can only find in that confusion. I think it's okay to feel that way. Ah. Uh, you know, every time she has like a thought to herself, oh, uh, and she narrates it, it's just so emotional, man. She's never, I feel like she's never gotten over Titus. She's never gotten over him. Not until she gets some closure, you know? Alright, well, that's the end of the episode in Luca. Um, I really don't know where to head to next. Um, and we're only 20 minutes into this. Um, let's go to Mihem High Road. Well, we finally got to the bottom of this mystery. Don't miss the thrilling conclusion. Goings. Mystery? What mystery? Our proprietor, Rin, is presenting the results of his investigation into the high Hyrule's troubles of late. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, so I remember the the investigation we had with the uh, sphere, comm spheres. Um, what are we doing in here? So maybe Ren found something out? Let's see. I am glad you are all here. I would like to talk about the recent string of incidents occurring on the high road. Oh, the chocobo eater. First, let us discuss the circumstances surrounding the hover crash. Marks found along the new road seem to indicate something fell from the road into the ravine below. The injured person found near the crash hover was, has been identified as its pilot. Now, let us consider the runaway drone machina. Yeah, what was up with all those Machina going haywire? The Machina can only be configured for operation through a control panel behind the agency. Naturally, I consider that someone might have tampered with that control panel. However, after seeing a man fall from the agency's roof, another possibility struck me. An impact where it's strong enough could also be enough to cause the Machina to malfunction. Such an impact would not necessarily require beastly strength. Even someone weak could deal the forceful enough blow with a little help from nature. Suppose, for example, someone were to jump down from a great height, that would do it. So, now what are then, you implying? Let's try to figure out who perpetrated these nefarious acts. We have already heard some testimony. The hover lost its balance and overturned while attempting to avoid a passerby. But who could that passerby be? According to the hover's pilot, it was an Albed female. You! We found footprints on one of the malfunctioning machina. Those same footprints were also found on a ledge by the new road. So. Let me ask you all, has anyone recently been to the ruins at the High Road's south end? Uh... And does anyone recall jumping down from a great height? Uh... What? Uh... No one else? <laughs> has anyone climbed down onto the ledge along the new road? One final question. Would the Albed ladies please raise their hands? Uh, please Riku. try to recall what happened, Riku. No, you're not taking Riku to jail. Nah, fam, nah. <laughs> you're not taking her to jail. Riku! Alright, this looks like a flashback. She looks happy. Whatever works for her. Shall we? Uh What the 
Riku, how did you not see that? <laughs> how did you not see a giant hover just crash into the ravine? Oh my god, yes. I remember seeing that. <laughs> oh my god, Riku! No! It, it was me! Don't admit it, you ain't going to jail! Precisely. The hover crashed while trying to avoid hitting you. And you caused the drone machina to malfunction when you landed on it. Don't say you, anything. You are the one who caused these two incidents to occur. No, no. You have the right to remain silent. I am sure you meant no harm, but your carelessness invited disaster. Allow me to determine Riku's sentence, if I may. No, not the death penalty. What sentence? No. <laughs> no. Riku. <laughs> oh my god, I'm being dramatic right now. Let me sh <laughs> Let's see what it is. Didn't expect trash duty. Oh my god. Glad that's all over. Oh man. You must be tired. As neither did noob. <laughs> oh, so she had to pick up all the trash around me, uh, Why High Road. Chocobos? They were being employed to power a ferry boat, so I purchased them. That's great. But can I go home now? I picked up all the trash. All of the trash? Every last piece. Look! Oof, yo. I thank you for your hard work. What? We gotta pick up feathers now? Is that even considered wow, trash? <laughs> this stinks! Feathers aren't trash! No, they're not! I would have been like, I'm not picking up no damn feathers! <laughs> oh man, well, now we know who the culprit is. It was in fact Riku. <laughs> Alright, we scored the accessory Ragnarok. Great. Since we figured out the, uh... The investigation. From now on, you can ride chocobos on the Miham High Road. Yes! Talk to the hover attendant for more information, baby. Yes, finally! I've been wanting to ride a damn chocobo since... I think episode 4 or something like that. <laughs> oh my god, yes! We can now ride chocobos on Miham High Road. Which sucks because we had to wait all the way till chapter 5. To actually ride a chocobo down there. Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> Alright, well, Riku's not going to jail, guys. <laughs> oh, thank God. Alright, well. <laughs> oh, man. Well, now we got an episode complete there. Um, Let's go to the next hotspot, guys. Mushroom Rock Road. We avoided open conflict between the Youth League and New Yevon. Now they're holding a battle tournament to blow off steam. Really? Battle tournament sounds interesting. Let's go. Oh man, we're just flying by these hotspots, guys. I feel like I just started uh, the the um, chapter last episode. <laughs> Lady Yuna, I went to your concert. It was spectacular. I was so moved. <laughs> Thanks to Damn, you, girl. we shall be able to resolve our conflicts with New Yevon peacefully. The guys who went to the concert have been going around pushing for a truce. That's great! Sadly, there are a great many League members who don't know what to do with their energy. It may sound odd, but they're unhappy about losing the chance to fight. They are so ready to blow up. But Commander Lucille thought of this great idea. Like, what if everybody blew off some steam with a battle tournament? Sounds like fun. Uni, maybe we should enter. That would be so cool! <laughs> She's so dramatic. Yagle's handling registration, so if you're competing, talk to him. Yeah, so... Everyone's, like, upset that they're not gonna be able to fight, and so now they're gonna fight each other. <laughs> okay, Youth League. That's how you guys do it? Yeah, yeah I got so bored that yeah, I can't fight. competing in the tournament? You bet. Understood. Allow me to lead the way. 
Got it. So they're gonna slice each other up. The High Summoner Yuna <laughs> has graciously agreed to help test our strength. Step forward if you are confident in your skill. Ooh, I wanna... <clears throat> I too accept the honor of entering the tournament. I will never forget the day I was allowed to challenge Lady Yuna. Very well. All units, take your positions. Oh man, so we're about to hack and slash each other up. <laughs> Defeat the Youth League's finest in a no holds barrel bard fight to the finish. Do you have what it takes? Commander Lucille will be the judge of that. Win seven battles in a row. Let the first round commence. Huh? Well, I, uh, me? May the yeah. best warrior win. You were so anxious to fight, huh? Alright. Pain, go berserk. Go, go berserk. Slice up Yaibo. Slice him up. Oh, he down already? Oh my god, that wasn't even a challenge. Come again. Alright, well, I'm OP as you guys can see. <laughs> so, it's not even challenging. The next challenger awaits. Oh, I feel bad for Yaibo. We sliced him up, bro. And Yuna shot him with the alchemist. <laughs> Oh man, this is horrible. What kind of, what kind of fun is this? Can't you guys just join a gym to take blow off some steam? <laughs> Berserk! I mean, that's what I do. You know, I don't go around just like, hey, you want to fight? <laughs> go around asking people. You know, what I'm saying if they want to fight or battle each other. Yeah, let's have a battle tournament and let's fight well each other done, to blow off steam. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, in in the world of Spira, this is normal. So yeah, guys, as you guys can see, this is almost too easy. Um, we're like obliterating everyone. Um, ooh, let's. I forgot. Yuna can use uh magic. I wonder if, um, ooh, I wonder if, uh, the black mage abilities you that, make combat look effortless. that's because it is, it's, it's effortless, <laughs> it is, um, I wonder if the black mage abilities that come with the garment grid that Yuna has equipped, um, contribute to AP points in battle, I'm not sure about that. We got some twins here. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just gonna still uh, just use the black mage abilities. Ooh, we slaughtering these youth league members. Damn. Pain just slapped the crap out of her. Let us continue. <laughs> Let's go. This is so easy. I feel like I'm finding regular fiends here. <laughs> oh, there's four of them now. Okay. You know what? Fireworks. I'm not even going to do anything else. I'm not. Oh, shoot. Yuna. Yuna. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I didn't expect Yuna to die. We learn hey yet. Oh, at least you got some experience points. Next. All right, it's Elma time. Lady Yuna, give me all you've got. Girl, you do not want this girl fight. <laughs> you do not want this girl fight, girl. <laughs> oh, let's put a high potion. Oh, why did I do that? Let's use a mega potion. Oh, this girl going crazy. Oh crap. Alright, she's putting up a challenge. She's putting up a fight. Alright, I see you, Alma. <laughs> Alright, Berserk. Woo! Yes, you keep using that fireworks, bruh. It reminds me of the fireworks in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 with Donald. Is it fireworks or is it Comet? Well, it looks like damn fireworks. 
Oh my, I finally learned high potion. I meant uh, X potion for Yuna's uh, alchemist. Sparkler. Damn, this girl has a little bit of uh, um. <laughs> yeah, get down, girl. <laughs> Magnificent, Lady Yuna. Elma, you too fought well. Learn from this defeat. Commander. Who will be next? What? Will no one step forward? Well, I guess we're done. You're forgetting someone. <laughs> Me? Lady Yuna, if I may? <laughs> I'd be honored. She sounded scared for a second. The honor <laughs> is mine. Please be gentle. You know how people... <laughs> You know how people start laughing when they get scared or nervous? <laughs> yeah, she she was she's like me? <laughs> um okay. <laughs> oh damn girl, you doing some Oh hell no, what what is you what kind of sorcery is this? She used like Blizzard like five times on Yuno. Keep using that sparkler move. We got this, we got this. Ooh, get that fire to the face. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, I do have ethers. Why does pain keep missing? Does she have darkness on her? Let's uh use a remedy. Oh, okay. All right, we don't need it. She's down. She's down. Oh, she was she was a little bit of a challenge by herself too. Thank you, Lady Yuna. It was a good match. You really are amazing, Lady Yuna. You are incredible too, Commander. Yeah, that with that Blizzaga move. <laughs> was that an item that she used? I think she used Ice Gem, maybe. Woo! Mad experience, baby. And we got a few items here too. Now is the perfect time for me to tell you something that has been on my mind. It concerns the Youth League and Spira's future. Okay. When the calm arrived two years ago, it echoed deep in the hearts of Spira's youth. With Sin's defeat, we had lost not only our mortal enemy, but also our purpose in life. I too felt lost. I did not know what direction to take, where to channel my energy. It Go was to the made gym. anew who guided our lost <laughs> generation to a new purpose, to uncover Spira's true past. This is the same man who was once called Deathseeker, who made no attempt to hide his despair. What caused Maven Nuge to change? That is not for us to know. Nonetheless, under Nuge's leadership, we finally found a way to apply our strength. But look at us now. The power we hope to use for good has intoxicated us all, even Nuge. The Youth League is in danger of becoming a mindless band of thugs that know only violence. A power that destroys rather than creates, without meaning, no better than sin. Do you remember why the Youth League seeks the truth behind Spira's past? Because Spira's past is the foundation for its future. Our power exists so that we may cut a new road to a new age. An age where children will never have to lift a sword. Um, there were just children swinging swords over there. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Anyways, Captain Lucio, man, she gives the best speeches, man. Wow. Very, very inspiring speech by Captain Lucio there. Wow, okay, so. Oh man, we're done with Mushroom Rock Road, guys. For now, because remember, we do have to go back to Mushroom Rock Road down into the ravine and actually open up that cave that's sealed up using all the crimson spheres 
Well, guys, we did a lot in this episode. I'm really impressed about, you know, all the progress we made um, so far. So I'm going to give it a quick save here. Yeah, guys, so in the next episode, we're going to um, probably start off um, down in the depths of Bavel. Because I want to, you know, get rid of uh, the all the floors that we have to go down in Bavel. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you then.